Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Dr. Aphra Star Wars Black Series figure. Let's do this. Hey guys, me O Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the brand new Dr. Aphra Star Wars Black Series figure. And she looks absolutely awesome. This figure is one of the best Black Series figures I've had for a long time. I'm not going to lie. She's amazing. Whilst her, um, the body itself of the figure is very reminiscent of the original, this new figure is absolutely awesome. And I'll tell you why. Since the last figure, they have massively improved the face sculpt. If you look at that face sculpt, it's got no more shininess. It's just a nice, plain sort of finish to it, which is nice. Whereas if you look at the original face, they use the face tech stuff, and it kind of leaves like a, like a plasticky shine to the face. Whereas this new version, so much nicer. I love this figure so much. It is a big improvement on the original. However, the costumes are different enough that you don't need to you know, replace one with the other. They both have a place within the collection. And the best part is the little hats are interchangeable. So because of the same mold and same sculpt and stuff, you can take the new one off of Dr. Aphra and put the old one on if you wish. I do prefer the old one that there was on the original figure as it does have a more weathered look to it. Whereas the new one has, it looks more newer. So I do like the more weathered version of the, uh, of the hat, which is so cool. But the best part is you don't even need to have it on, which is the best part. It's she, she looks good with or without it. The costume, like I say, is different enough that they're completely different outfits, but whilst on the same body. The figure itself is very nicely done with, a lot, with, a lot, with lots of articulation, including the head being on a ball joint. You can move the arms out to the side and rotate, single hinged elbows, hands are on a hinge joint. You can crunch a forwards and backwards. There's a waist swivel there, top thigh cut, double hinged knees. There's no boot cut, but the feet are on rocker and pivot. I'm currently using a display base from McFarlane's just to kind of hold her in place whilst I'm doing the review. It's not that she needs it, it's just that I use this like grass felt stuff and sometimes the figures don't want to stand on it. Comparing her to other figures from the line, here she is stood with Luke Skywalker and Lando Calrissian. Here she is with Jaina Solo and Thrawn. And as Dr. Aphra most, time, most of the time ends up on the wrong side of the tracks, here she is with Darth Vader. And here she is reunited with her own droids. I almost didn't review this figure again as there wasn't many changes from the original one. However, once I got her in hand and had a good play around with this figure, I really wanted to put her in front of the camera just to show off that amazing face sculpt and just to show you that she is an amazing figure and well worth picking up. I give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and until next time. May the Force be with you. Bye!